And I'm Drew Smith reporting live in Greenwood where one man is dead, the pilot of a small plane that crashed here in Greenwood right behind me. You can see the wreckage right there along Patterson Street, the back of this home. Now what we're told uh, that Greenwood police got the call about 2.19 this afternoon that the small plane had crashed. It scraped along the top of the house to the right of that, that white house there. The plane swiped the top of that house and then hit in the backyard here and crashed. The pilot died. Greenwood what police have told me just moments ago that the pilot died from a fire after the plane crashed that engulfed the plane. Now, we're told that a couple of residents here actually tried to get the pilot and the co-pilot out, uh, out of the plane. They were actually able to get the co-pilot out. He's been taken to Methodist Hospital. We're still uncertain about the extent of his injuries. We're also told that a couple of people that live back here that tried to make a rescue were slightly injured by some power lines that came down. But Greenwood police have told me just moments ago that those two people are okay. What's sort of ironic about this whole situation is that Greenwood police say that the plane was taking off from Greenwood Airport going to another state to get an inspection. This very small plane, once again, with two people inside, the pilot of the plane is dead. The co-pilot of the plane, the passenger of the plane, has been taken to Methodist Hospital for his injuries. Once again, Patterson Street here in Greenwood, and firefighters and police are on the scene, and you can see the wreckage behind me there, that small plane that went down. Police got the call once again at 2.19 this afternoon. Much more to come on RTV6. Back to you now in the studio.